Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. I'm tying another wet fly, this is a Mac Hair Claret. It's an excellent top dropper fly for sea trout, browns, you know, it's rainbows take it as well, it's well worth having. So, as always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content and be entered into the giveaways. So I've got my hook and my vice, it's a size 10, Kamazan B175. And I've run on some Uni 8 or in black. And I'm just going to get a jungle cock nail. For the tail. Strip it so it's like that. So I've still got the some of the hairs on the side. You can completely strip it if you like, but I, I think it looks good with this. And I'm going to tie it so that it's about just over a shank length off the back. And I'm tying it with a good side down. Right, so if I show you that, that's the white side, right? Uh, you can just see the underside there is the sort of colourful side because that's the side that you're showing to the fish right the, it's highly unlikely that a fish is going to be looking at this from above um, so tie them this way right I often see my hair clarets tied or in boxes and the, the the jungle cocks, it looks great in the box, you can see the jungle cock sticking up uh, but it's pointless, you're just, you'd be as well just using I don't know, a bit of partridge feather or something at the back something bad because you're, you're not getting the, the good jungle cock eye looking down tied in my rib uh, and I've left the waist the length of the body and this is a medium oval gold. Now, you can use fine if you wish, but I think on an 8 and a 10 on this fly, because it's quite dark, I like the slightly wider rib. If I tie a 12, I'll use the fine, because the medium oval gold is just a bit too much for a 12. But it's up to you. So I've got a dubbed rope of sulfur here. It's right dark claret, I've actually mixed, a I've got a really black claret and I've mixed a lighter claret into it uh, just to get the shade that I want but it's, it should be dark and you can build a fairly shaggy wee body and then we're ready for the body hackles which there are two and I'm going to use a claret and a black uh, cock hackle. Just using Chinese. You don't need top drawer hackles, you just the Chinese is ideal for the, the wet fly. It's no too hard. It's sort of henny, but it's still stiff enough to move a bit of water. Which is what I want for my ball fly. So I've just lined these up with the tips and I've stripped the rubbish away. Put a wax on my thread. And I'm going to offer these in with a good side facing me. Tie them in, trim away my waist, and I'll just tidy everything up. Now, these are only the biggest of hackles, uh, and there's just two of them. I'm a bit footery, so I'll just use my hackle pliers, and then I'll take a full turn at the front, 
then I'll come down the body. Say four, five turns, something like that. Right, I like it to be a fairly heavily dressed fly. The Mac here, Claret. When you get to the back, take your rib round, catch it in, and then come up the body. Don't worry too much about the hackle. You can get that with your Velcro. Now when I come to the front, I'm just going to catch this. If you've watched my other videos, you'll see, usually I like to take a full turn, but the medium's just too, it's too much bulk to do that with the medium tinsel on the 10. So I'll just catch it in the side, tie it off. Just make sure your thread wraps are nice and tight, and you've got wax in your thread. You can tidy everything up. Now, Velcro. That just frees up the hackle that might be trapped and pulls some of the dubbing into the hackle as well. This is one of the things I think is quite important a wet fly. It gives it a really nice translucence when it's viewed from below. Right? I mean, they've basically got to be backlit when the fish sees them. Um, and the wee filaments are dubbing and that are got to catch the light, and transmit it through it. It's, it's, it really kind of makes it, makes the fly almost kind of glow when the light comes through it, which I think makes a big difference. And then the last hackle is hen, it's just a black hen, but I want quite a long quite a long uh fibred hackle. Just to be sure, catch in the tip, fold it back, and just snap it away, and then I'm just going to fold the hackle as I wind it. Don't be shy. Right, I like a good head hackle in a Mac Air Claret. Long in the fibre and heavy. Yeah, like that. Obviously the number of turns it varies from hackle to hackle but that was about four from this one. Sometimes three will be enough if it's a good thick hackle. Sometimes you'll want more. So just fold it that back, snapped away the stem. And then we'll finish. just to be sure. Although the first one's good. And then just to finish it off, put a varnish. Clear the eye. Give that a couple of coats of varnish to get a nice wee shiny head. Well you don't really need to if you're just standing for yourself. So there you go, there's the Mac here claret. Quite a dark claret. Um the way my lighting is it might be kinda of hard for me to to see actually. But uh, it's a good fly, it's well worth having. So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye.